Harry Jousey, buddy, I, uh, you've been all over the news lately. What is, what is life like for you right now? Or, cause it's been a weird week for you. What's, what's it like in the life of you right now? Well, abs absolute chaos to put it simply. Like I actually don't know how I got here or what I'm doing, <laughs> uh, or, or what, what is going to happen. I have no idea. I just, for some reason, I just got myself in the middle of a shit storm. Um, and like, I'm just, I guess I'm going with it. I'm kind of just like in the middle of it. So I just have to keep going along with it. You've been everywhere. Yes. Cause I, I, and I don't know if you heard, but we had Julia Rose on the podcast last week. Uh, you know, we were talking all about her, her relationship with Jake Paul. We obviously brought you up <clears throat> and the whole fact that, you know, she said, look, I, I did date Harry. Well, she actually considered it not really a relationship. She just said it was a hot minute that you guys were together. And I don't know. First, let me just ask you that. Do you feel like there was a relationship or it was just a hot second? Like we, so the thing is, is like we had the conversation. Like we had a conversation about it, about being together and stuff like that. But end of the day, like it was a hot minute and it's going to be like he say, he say, she say type of situation. So like. For me, it doesn't really matter. Like we hooked up, we had fun, we had a great time, but it just seems like oddly calculated from her side. Like uh, I was actually with my friend who was to, was speaking about it with me like not too long ago, and he's just like, it just seems very weird how smart she was about like getting Jake back or like doing things to like trigger some sort of reaction from his side. So I guess I was just like a little pawn in her game of chess, and that was like. I think that was just like a good realization because I, I don't really care about the situation whatsoever because we had fun. Like it was a good, what well, like three, four weeks or however fucking long it was. <laughs> but okay, uh, but, but hold on. What happened yeah. then? How did Dylan Danis get involved? Why did I go on Instagram and I see this big old long story of him <laughs> releasing photos of you two, videos of you guys like kind of being intimate, laying around, kissing each other. <laughs> And I don't know if this was just to get back at Jake for the water balloon incident. I mean, how did this all come out? Are you friends with, with Dylan? Like, what happened? Okay, so for some reason, uh, like, obviously Dylan's been in L.A. for a little bit. I believe he lives in Manhattan or away from this chaos. Yeah. Um, and we randomly, like, linked up at, a, at, like, this guy's house. And I saw his profile picture. And I was like, oh, this is hilarious. Obviously, I saw the video of him getting water balloon. And I was like, oh, like, this shit's fucking funny. So I was just like, yeah, like, he said, is there anything that you would want out there? I'm like, no, nah, not really. Like, I don't really care about this situation. I don't really want to be involved. Um, but I was like, look, like, go through my phone. If you see shit you think that should be posted, do it. Like, I don't really care at, at this point. Like, Julie is being disrespectful to me when I've been completely fine to her and, like, spoken about her in the highest regard. Like, I did say one thing about the cheating, which I was – you know, probably should have like just shot her a text or whatever, but I was a little bit like heated because that's how I found out she was cheating on me. Um, but I just said, look, like, fuck it. Like, I don't have any ties to either of these people. If you feel like it's going to make your situation better, sure, go for it. It may, it may make mine a little bit worse, but I was like, look, like if you guys are going to fight and it's going to create a little bit of hype, create a little bit of tension, you can troll them a little bit, sure. Do, do your worst. Like, do your thing. Like, I'm really really not bothered about it so yeah that's how it kind of came about and then the funniest thing was he he posted all this stuff we're chilling and he's like oh should we go to this other house guess who's fucking the first person we walk in i've got dylan in front of me i'm in the middle the girl that i'm seeing behind me i'm holding her hand we open the door there's julia just standing there <laughs> by herself after we posted all this shit she dropped everything in her hands and just ran out. And I was like, oh, but I was like, this, <laughs> I was like, this is going to be worse. And we did. So at that point in time, we didn't know that they like broke up or that they were going through like some turmoil. So me and Dylan, I'm like, sweet. Okay. Like him and his, you know, goons are about to pull up and uh, it's going to be, you know, a nice, beautiful scene, but nothing happened. Um, I went in, uh, like yeah, I had a good night with with the with my friends, and then I don't know. I think she ran she ran away because uh, I saw her friends there, and then I was like obviously getting a little bit drunk, a little bit horny, so I went home with my girl, and then uh, <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs>
But is the is the fight looking good? Like now, how are you involved? Like, are you nervous to be out in case you run into the Paul gang? Like, they might try to start some stuff with you now. No, the only thing that I'm, you know, worried about is like my relationship with Logan because I've got so much love and respect for Logan. He's a great guy. He's given me nothing but love and respect. Um, and like that's the only thing I'm worried about. Like we had a conversation the other day, and I understand, you know, like he was a little bit annoyed, and like obviously it's hard for him, but, like to be my friend and then also to be friends with, oh, like be Jake's brother. So I understand that. But in all honesty, I'm not nervous or worried about jake and his boys like i i really just can't see them as a threat or anything like that i just feel like they've probably got bigger things to worry about and if they did pull up on me i just think it would be a it would be a silly decision like no one knows me like people don't know if i've ever been in a fight before people don't know if i've been in a hundred fights like don't no one knows my background or where i've been or what's happened so i'm not really bothered like i'm not really gonna you know, I'm not looking for a fight. I'm not looking for attention or anything like that. Like, I know him and Dylan have got, like, long-term beef. And I think that's where Jake's, like, uh, attention is, like, drawn to. Because, you know, that's the next, I guess, desirable fight. And it makes the most amount of sense because Dylan is a fighter. Um, but, yeah, I just, I guess I just got myself in the middle of a shit situation. And I just have to deal with whatever comes my way. <laughs> so, so we joked with Julia last week. And we just said, oh, so what... What do you think about a Harry Jousey versus Jake Paul boxing match? And she goes, yeah. oh, it's not even worth it. Would you ever consider actually stepping in the ring with Jake Paul? I would love to. I feel like that would be I feel like that would be a really good fight. I feel like me and Logan would probably be a better fight. But then again, I, love, I fucking love Logan a bit. So I, realistically, I just think it's like it would be a smart business move um, for me. I guess him as well, but um, I just, yeah, I can't see him wanting to fight like someone like me. He only wants to go for guys that are like little, smaller than him. I think Jake's like six foot. If you put shoes on, I'm six five, like I'm 220. He's what, 189, 190. I don't know, but I just, I can't see it being a good fight for him. Um, but yeah, I know, yeah, Julie's been talking the most amount of shit. She doesn't, she doesn't back me, which I get because she's in love with Jake, but um yeah, I don't know. I just, really, like, if it come down to it, I would, I would love the opportunity. And you think? But you, you say, it? yeah, I was gonna say, you say, you say, like, I don't think it'd be it work out. Is it because you think you'd win? You don't think it would be fair fight or? Realistically, I just the the height advantage, the weight advantage I have, um, you know what, like where I've come from, like my my history, shit like that. I just can't see it being a smart fight for him. Plus, you know, I'm not. I'm not like he, he's trying to work his way to Connor, and I understand that. So like for him to to try and fight someone like me, it's probably going in the opposite direction. Like how many reality TV stars do you want to go through? Like I don't know. Like I just don't know what the end goal would be with me, and I just can't see him building up any sort of hate or animosity towards me. Like I can see him getting a little bit jealous because I hooked up with a few of his exes, but I can't really. Yeah, can't really see him getting like angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Where, you know, Jake was asked about the whole situation and his response was that Julia Rose is for the streets. Do you agree? Do you agree that Julia Rose is for the streets? Look, I don't think it's fair to slut shame her. Like, even though I once I broke up with her and I said that she cheated on, on me, I never said that, you know, I was never said she was for the streets. I never said any, you know, anything like that. And even though she's been disrespectful to me and, and been rude, like blatantly, um, again, like, I just don't think it's fair to slut shame her uh, and then put her, like, try and put her in a box or or say that about her after he was, like, trying to defend her. So, look, you think like, that's I just think... coming from him because he's hurt? Like, he doesn't actually mean that, right? Like, he's just no, fucking sad look, inside, like, right? For sure. Like, him and, him and Julia, from what I understand, had a great relationship. They had heaps of fun. So I can just understand, like, right off the back of a breakup, you're not really going to be wanting to say the best about someone. Like, hence Julia, like, what she says about me. Um, so, yeah, I just can't see him. He's probably, like, I guess he wasn't sober. Like, I watched that thing. He didn't He didn't look like he was in the most, the best frame of mind. So, yeah, I hope he's all good. Like, whatever, whatever's going on in his world. But, yeah, I just, I, I just, I don't think he means it. Um, and Julia, end of the day, is a great, great businesswoman. And she's very smart. So, she's very calculated with what she's doing. So, I'm sure there's a big bigger reason behind everything that's going on. So how much do you think of 
you know, when you hear interviews of Julia and what we see of Julia, how much do you think that, you know, what the public knows about Julia is compared to the real Julia that when she's not on camera or recording her podcast to the real person? Are we seeing the real person when we see her on YouTube and hear her on the podcast? Um, I think yes and no. It's just like with with anyone. Like, say, if you watch my watch Two Out the Handle, there's elements of me in that that you'll probably see every day and there's elements in, in that that you probably never see again. And it's just the same as like Julia, like she knows what's going to get attention. She knows what's going to get views, followers, likes. So she'll play into that a lot. But she, like, again, like she's very calculated. She's very smart with how she moves and what she associates with. So yeah, I just, I think she's, um, yeah, she thinks about shit a lot before she does it. Unlike me where I'm just a big dumb idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'm thinking back to that night that all the videos and photos got posted. Was that the catalyst for their breakup or they had already broken up and that just was like a cherry on top for Dylan? But I actually, I'm going to be honest, like I have no idea. Like I don't check Julia's stuff. I don't check Jake's stuff. Um, I don't know what, what was going on. I Like the girl that I'm seeing right now, um, you know, like I don't want her to be uncomfortable. So I'm not going to be like, Oh, Julia, this Jake, that I'm like, sweet. Like I'm focused on her and you know, my businesses and what we're doing here. So I don't know what went down. I don't know what happened with them, nor do I really give a fuck. Like it's their relationship. You know, me and Julia had our fun. Uh, I've moved on. She's moved on. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Um, you probably have to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> and has Dylan thanked you for all this? Uh, have you spoken to him lately? <laughs> <laughs> so Dylan's actually one of the nicest guys. Like I, I'm surprised. And maybe you know, maybe he's like puts on a bit of a persona online or in the in the fight game, it's different. But he's been so fucking lovely. Like he's so nice to me. Uh, he asked me. He like before he posted this stuff, he's like, "Are you sure you want to be involved? Like, are you sure you want to be in this scene? Like, I'm gonna like, don't worry. Like everything's gonna be fine. But like, let me know." I was like, "Bro, like I don't really care." But he. He just said to me, like, he, he checked in yesterday. He's like, hey, bro, like, how are you feeling with all this stuff going on? Like, are you all good? Uh, which is kind of refreshing, which is, like, cool to see from someone who, you know, is probably going to make, like, a few million off a fight uh, yeah. off this whole situation to, like, check in and make sure, like, you know, he, he checks in on his friends, which is kind of cool. And do you, do you regret that stuff being posted at all, the photos, the videos? Or are you like, eh, whatever it is, what it is, no regrets? Um, I think it is what it is. Like, I don't really give a fuck whatsoever because of like how things have played out, uh, with, you know, like how both of them have been disrespectful for me for no reason. Like I remember I said in a pod, like an interview outside bowl one time, I was just like, Jake's a legend. Like I've got nothing but love for those guys. Cause every time, like when I met him, uh, he was so nice to me and like, he was really cool. So, and then obviously once the Julia stuff came around, like he was like disrespectful and so was. Julia wants everything. So I don't really care about it whatsoever. I, I'm not too bothered by it. The only thing that I am bothered by is that, you know, I upset Logan. And, like, he's a fucking legend. Like, he's a really good dude. He's got a really big heart. Uh, and he's very, uh, like, a very, very good friend. Like, he's, he genuinely cares. So I think that's the only thing that I've kind of a little bit bummed out about. Like, I didn't think about it. I didn't, you know, text him and be like, hey, bro, like, this is what's going on. I was also, like, a little bit intoxicated. So... I did send him a voice note uh, yesterday. I was like, hey, look, I just want to let you know, like, I apologize. I don't mean to, uh, you know, get in the middle of any shit. And uh, I don't want it to be fucking awkward because, like, he's my boy. And, yeah. Do you think, was that incident with the water balloon and Dylan, was that all set up? It seemed too pre-orchestrated, in my opinion. It was just, like, the timing. It was just, like, it was weird, like, I don't know. It just seemed so rehearsed and not rehearsed. Like it was a one, but it, you knew something was going to happen. The timing was just too perfect. The, the thing is, is like, I don't know. Like I was asking Dylan and I was like, what's like, why are we doing an interview outside? Seems fucking weird. Um, like what do you, like what's going on? But he said that he le legitimately had no idea that they were going to come. He said that there was someone from the production said that they may like drive by or they may come say something but that was about it so yeah i think it was 100 percent real um and i think dylan's like glad it happened because now there's you know more hype around them fighting and uh you know that bag being a little bit bigger for both of them 
Absolutely. Yeah, and where do we do we think that fight is actually going to happen? Like last, you talked to Dylan. Is it is that what's in, in the works for him? Do you you know where does where does this fight stand? Where coming to light? From from my knowledge, I believe that they've been wanting to have a scrap for the longest time. Like they've been wanting to throw hands at each other for a minute. So I believe it's regardless if it happens, you know, next year or the year after, it will happen. Um, I, I think Dylan's probably next in line to fight Jake. It makes the most amount of sense for everything. Um, but I know Dylan's just had like a knee reconstruction or some shit. So he's trying to recover from that. So I don't know how soon that would be. But for Dylan, that makes the most amount of sense. That's probably going to be the biggest bag and the most attention, especially, you know, if he puts him on the ground. Is this a, is this a personal or is it just a money grab? You know, obviously they're both going to do very well from it. But mm. is, is it really personal, in your opinion? Uh, um, I believe it is. Like, I believe that they genuinely uh, have it out for each other. Like, um, yeah, I, I honestly think that there is some personal beef there. But end of the day, like Jake said on the Nelk Boys Live, that it, boxing is a business, is business dis- disguised as a sport or something like that, which is 100% true. So I think, you know, personal or not personal, it's still a fucking smart move to do for both of them to, you know, capitalize the money off it. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, listen, yeah. you go where the money follows. No matter what, like, all of this, this shit will die down. No one will care about water balloons mm. or cheating or anything down the road, but that money will still be in the bank. <laughs> yeah. As long as the exactly. fight happens, they'll be happy. You know, as long as the fight yeah. happens, they both get paid. At the end of the day, I have to imagine they will touch gloves and they will hug because they're like, okay, we made it, we both made a lot of money together. So yeah. uh, regardless of Ex- who wins. Hey, so what's your yeah, what's your exactly. new what's your new girl think of you being wrapped up in this this new story about like a love triangle? I mean that, that she's probably gonna be like, God damn. <laughs> no, it's, she's I like I can tell it's digging at her. Like she's a little bit annoyed by it, but the thing is is like she's just so much hotter than anyone I've ever been with. Like she is legit like I I just I don't know how I like landed her. Like she's insanely attractive. Um so I think that she just knows her worth. Like she doesn't really care about like these other girls or Wait, like do whatever's we, do going. Do we know on. do we know who this is? I, I don't think I even nah, know who you're dating. No, nah, no, nah, nah, I'm not like I'm not dating her, but like I'm it's just it's been exclusive for, for a while. Um but you and haven't gone not, you haven't gone public with it. No, nah, and I don't think I will. I don't think I'll like I feel like it's just gonna be one of those things that I realize that public relationships aren't the best uh, way to go. Like if you if you want it to be healthy, so I'm just gonna let it blossom for a while and then see what happens. But we're meant to be, you know, going to Miami for New Year's together. So um, hopefully, yeah, we can keep it keep it under wraps. But she's she's really cool. Um, but it's still early days. So how how'd you guys meet? Uh, I believe I slid in her DMs and then I thought she had a boyfriend, so I. Was, uh, she didn't reply after a while because it was like super friendly and then it was like friends of friends and then she uh, came back from a trip and was like hey I'm back in LA unsent her message and I was like that's a little bit weird being a little bit sus and then we uh, I took her on the worst date ever like legit the worst the, the absolute worst like completely fumbled it so bad so we went I, I went to pick her up I was half an hour late I couldn't find where her house was I picked her up and obviously this was just before all the restaurants and stuff were closed and everything was closed at nine. So I, I drive to this restaurant. I'm like really excited about uh, eating. I was like really pumped because I'm like, fuck, I haven't had Japanese in a minute. So I drive there, completely miss where we were meant to go. I come back. It's 8.45 and I was like, hey, just a table for two. Like we'll be in and out. be great. And then just like, nah, no more seating. So I'm like, cool. All good. We drive. We get back in the car. <laughs> She's like furious at this point. And I'm like, look, like I promise – I'm usually organized and I'm usually better than like at this stuff. Um, but it's just, it's not my day today. So then we drove to a different Japanese restaurant and everything closes at nine. And I was like trying to find a park. I was like, look, like let's get takeout. I pull up to this ballet for a different place. I was like, look, like here's, here's $50. Like just look after it. I'll be back. We're just going to run in there. We're going to get some food and then we're going to go home. We go there. They're just like completely closed. And I was like, this is this is so stupid. I fumbled this so bad. So we end up driving back to her house and I'm like, what can I do to make 
my presence is more enjoyable for her. Let's get her drunk and give her chocolate. And then we have a great night. It's great. <laughs> yeah. And what, what does she do? Uh, she's a model, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. blonde, brunette, redhead. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go into, I don't want to give her any, um, she doesn't, she doesn't deserve any more hyping up right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. And all so right. what's next? And lastly, so what's next for you? Um, you know, like, what are you working on? What, what would the fans expect from you? Um, good question. So I'm working on, uh, a couple new businesses, uh, which I'm really excited about, which I'm really happy about, but that's just boring. No one really cares. Um, there's like TV shows that we're planning on, on trying to push forward with. And um, for some reason, so many people want me to do OnlyFans. So I'm actually considering that. So I don't, I don't hey, know. Hey, it's big going. business, dude. We won't knock it. It's huge. People make a lot of money. Well, I was like, I legit was just like, I'll never do it. Like, I don't want to, I don't want people to see me in that light. And then Michael B. Jordan fucking does it. And I'm like, the sexiest man alive. Is that his name? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. he's the sexiest yeah, yeah. man alive signs up and he's doing only fans i was like there's no way that this app oh shit it's too <laughs> hot to wow. handle in there with your only fans conversation oh, I see what you did, <laughs> oh my god i didn't i did not plan this <laughs> sounds like your fire alarm yeah i what is that <laughs> <laughs> I did I did not plan this, but I only fans to set up your fire. <laughs> Can you turn it off somehow? Rip the batteries out. What is it? Hold up, one second. I'm going to have to jump out. It turns out that um, my candle caught something in the light. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually have a fire in there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Go get it out. All right. All right. We'll talk to you later. Worries. Sorry. Sorry. No worries. Bye. <laughs> He's got a fire. Oh, that's so funny. He's got a fire. All right. Well, that was the first time we've had someone uh, light their house on fire while they're in the middle of a podcast.